Today, we're gonna give you three tips on how to jump a double out of a turn. Hopefully you do them right, or else it's a dun 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 What's up guys, Tyler from the MX Factory out. It's Austin Dell Valley Motocross Park in Austin, Texas. Today, we're gonna jump a double out of a turn. I'm gonna give you three tips to do it. We have a seat bounce and a how to jump video. We're gonna skip those steps and go into a little more detail in this video, so if you're unsure, check those videos out below. Like this, subscribe, please. You're doing a great job at it, man. I really wanna give you a pat on the back for doing all the likes and subscribe. You're doing awesome. Tip number one is gonna be picking the correct line for your skill set. Nine times out of 10, there's gonna be a tight inside rut, but that puts the face of the jump much closer. So what do you have to do? You have to seat bounce. If you're not comfortable seat bouncing, make sure that you don't drop into the inside rut and catch yourself off guard being at the jump sooner than you think. Set up a little wider stand up drive through the jump. That's a very important tip number one. It'll keep you safe. Number two guys, be in the right gear. If you come to the inside and you are confident with seat bouncing and you're in the wrong gear and the bike's bogging going off the face, it's inevitable that you're gonna go into an endo and hopefully not crash, but the chances are likely. So make sure that you've ridden the track enough, picked the line enough, and went over the jump enough to know what gear is the gear that gets you the right amount of power going off the face of the jump. Tip number three, squaring up the turn if you're unsure. If you come into a turn like we have here and you have a few lines, but you're not quite comfortable from hitting it from the ruts, set up outside wide, come over the ruts and drive through the jump and make sure you're getting to the downside before you come into the inside ruts. Open up your room for acceleration until you get comfortable and then start inching your way in. Pick the middle line, pick the second middle line, pick the inside, and then all of a sudden you're taking the fastest line around the track, jump and double, no problem. We haven't had any crashes and we're ready to go on about our day. Just make sure that you hold the gas all the way through the face of the jump. So when you're coming out of a tight turn, nine times out of 10, it's gonna require power all the way through the face of the jump. Whether you're standing or sitting, you've gotta get a little more lift because the jump is a little further coming from slow speeds. So make sure that you're holding power all the way through the face of the jump, staying centered on the bike so you're getting good traction through the back tire and then driving through the jump. All right guys, we hope you enjoyed the video. We hope you're seat mounts and jumps and doing whatever you like to do out of the turns and get to the downsides. If you did like the video and you want more, we have more over here as well as you can subscribe. We have our Instagram and Patreon account down here. We look forward to seeing you guys soon. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.